I love to see this collection and the whole experience with the music and the clothes. Can you talk about your thoughts behind it? Um, celebrating Britishness and London. Um, and kind of I sort of started thinking about how I grown up in England and the music I listened to. We had the Beatles, we had the Who, um, and all those sort of youth tribes. Um, mods and rockers, a little bit of punk. Um, so that's where it started from, and then it developed. Yeah, I love the music scene of that period that uh, you had the, the sound from. Can you talk about the whole ambiance and also the, ha the hats and the, the clothes? Yeah, the clothes were sort of a bit sort of mix and match. We had sort of very feminine clothes, but quite often worn with like masculine trousers or a masculine jacket or a coat, men's shoes. But there were definitely girls wearing like their boyfriend's clothes. Unlike the helmets, that was just maybe something they'd found and just were wearing for the fun of it, for a party. More sort of London style. So you kind of, so the hats were just uh, randomly there, like as if the girlfriend yeah, would just find I mean, well, it? Well, the hats, they were based on the horse guards' hats, you know, the changing of the guards and Buckingham Palace and all that, which is sort of like London, that's the sort of touristy bit that you see. Um, but having fun with it. Not literal, but just, uh, why well, not? It's sexy with a lace dress. So it's very much inspired on the British scene. And can you talk a little bit about the techniques and the journey going through this collection? We did a lot of fabric research as usual. Um, uh, just sort of mixing fabrics, a lot of Georgette, a lot of, a lot of lace this season. Um, but lots of tailoring fabrics as well. And jacquards we always use. Um, so a lot of the polka dots and the spots, the transparents, they were jacquards. Um, and the men's suiting in the Czech linen, that was our own weave that we developed. So it's bias cut linen tweed, if you see what I mean. Um, so it's quite rich. So, I mean, the polka dots, that also refers back to the London uh, kind of party scene in a way, no? Yeah, just sort of doing research. I mean, the 60s, I mean, it was quite popular, um, polka dots, black and white and blue and white, navy and white. Um, Jean Shrimpton and all that sort of uh, that scene. So we sort of developed that as well. Uh, it was a lovely collection, and uh, I know there's a lot of people who want to talk to you right now. So thank you very much for talking to us. Very kind of you. Thank you. The collection was aimed at a younger market than in the past. A little less sophisticated. Um, and more young than usual. I've been to John Galliano's shows for many, many years. This one is, was different. The audience was younger, the, the music was different, the designs were less complex, less artistic, and more commercial. <laughs>